don't want your damn lemons! That was a very PG version of J.K. Simmons. I also have much better hair than he does. Though I do have tape on my glasses that kind of brings it down a little. Whiplash is a artsy type music movie directed by Damien Chazelle. Is not a type of deer or animal or something? It stars Miles Teller and he's a college student at this super prestigious music school and he plays the drums and he plays them really well. J.K. Simmons is this music teacher who is so mean. Alright, that's all the people have been saying in the reviews. Again, this movie came out in like November and our theater is only getting it now. This is so unfair. Saying J.K. Simmons is mean in this movie is like saying Batman is cool. Biggest understatement of the universe timeline world. So Miles is in this music class and like this other teacher comes to recruit for like the AP music class sort of type deal. He's like just insulting everyone. Like there's a girl and he's like, let's see if you're in the front row just because you're cute. And then she starts playing for him. He's like, yep, that's why. That sounded fine to me. He's like, I have a little t bit of music experience. I don't, I'm playing it. I play a little bit of piano. No, not really. I look up stuff on YouTube and then I tap the keys. Like I, I don't even type like on the keyboard. Like people go like this. How do you do that? I go like that! So Miles gets recruited into this super, super hardcore music class, and J.K. Simmons teaches. Alright. If J.K. Simmons does not win Best Supporting Actor, the Oscars suck. This guy is incredible in his role. He isn't just me, too. He's well acted. Like, if all he did was spew insults and throw chairs at his students, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be everything. But he's he's also he's a complex character. Like he's got other things going on with him that you don't really see. And like why is he teaching this way? If you like drums, you should see this movie. If you like super intense, stressful situations, you should probably see this movie. If you like really, really good acting, you should watch this movie. You should watch this movie. It's a very, very good movie. There's a part where J.K. Simmons is like, okay, are you rushing or dragging? And the guy's playing it and like the part and he's like, Stop, not my tempo. And I'm like, I did not hear a difference. Music people have such well-trained ears. Like, I was in choir in high school, and the music teachers were like... They, like, they have you stand in a certain row, and they're like, Okay, you you three sing. Nope, nope, switch. You two switch. I'm like, how could that possibly impact the sound? Because, like, I, did, I couldn't tell you if he was rushing or dragging, but I was trying to figure out. I was like, alright, I don't play drums or anything, but I'm gonna figure this out. And then he played it right, and I'm like, oh. And Jake Simmons goes like, hmm. I'm like... That was better. I, I noticed that. That, that. that sounded right and I was proud of myself. So Miles Teller, he wants to be the next... I don't remember any of their names. They list off a bunch of famous drummers in the movie. I don't... I'm not well versed in classic music. What's your idea of success? Is like, with your hands bleeding and stuff. Other people tell them, like, leave this class. This is BS, dude, and you're just taking it. You're doing this to yourself. And I think that's something that Dark Souls players should be able to relate to. It's like... You're letting the game treat you like this. This is, this, it's on you. Look at that cover though, sweet trailer. The hell was I talking about? Something I did notice, and maybe it's just because the, the frame rate of a movie is only so fast, like unless you're a Hobbit, which is 40. Movies are 24 frames a second, pretty much across the board, with the exception of Bob. And maybe it's just because drummers do it so quickly, or maybe the eye can't see whatever, but it, it didn't look like the sound matched the drums. And again, that might have been me, that might not have been a mistake. It's just something I noticed, like, they're not hitting when I'm hearing the sound. But Miles Teller, the, the actor that plays the kid, he actually plays drums too. So that's all real and everything. And when he's actually doing drums and he's doing like a freestyle solo, you're like, that is incredible. That's ridiculous. And he's been going this whole time. It's like, this guy is insanely good. But don't let J.K. Simmons hear you telling him that. There's another little thing, just kind of proves how this drumming takes over his life. He's like, he's got this little date in the beginning thing. Like, there's a girl at the movie theater, like, he comes there so regularly that she knows, like, oh, no Swedish fish this time? And he's like, no. And then he asks her out. And I'm like, I really hope she says yes. Uh, and then she's like, get out of here. And I'm like, oh, that's terrible. And she's like, I'm kidding, yes. And I'm like, oh, that must feel so good. I don't date. So. But then they never really come back to that date thing. I think she's only in the movie ever twice. Maybe it's because she's not important. <gasps> yeah, this made me think about Birdman a lot, just because the music was very drums. And and the music, the score wasn't always just the drums that he was playing. There's a nice little piano tune that's going, and it's kind of sad. And you're like, oh, I would like to buy that. I'll check out the soundtrack later. This movie is so well acted and so intense, and you have to see it. And it's another one of the Best Picture nominees, along with American Sniper, that just totally deserves a Best Picture nomination. I think after this, I'll have seen all the ones I care about. Because there's Grand Budapest Hotel, 
great. Birdman, fantastic. American Sniper, fantastic. This one, awesome. Like and subscribe. I'm Wesley Tomsky. See you later.